Okay, so for today guys, we're going to discuss on what ways you can do to reduce any stiffness that you might feel around your shoulders, especially when you're trying to lift your arms up. So usually, that muscle would be the upper traps and levator cap, so their job is to elevate your shoulders. Sometimes if you keep on doing the same movements over and over again, if you, or if you do sit in front of the computer, these muscles here would get tight. And what happens is, it's going to restrict you through a lot of movements, so one movement that can restrict you is being allow or allowing your shoulders to go forward and back, lifting it up, bringing it further back, and any sort of pulling movement that allows your shoulders to go too far forward, that means that these guys here are pretty tight. So what I'm going to show to you is our different drills that you can do. Okay, so with releasing a tight part of your shoulders, one thing that you would be considering is what muscle shortens whenever you're in that position. And the chances are it would be your pec minor, the muscle over here. One of the jobs of the pec minor is to help your shoulders to move forward. And what happens is if you maintain that shoulder for too long or that position for too long, it shortens this muscle here because it overdoes what it's meant to be doing. So first thing to do, get a lacrosse ball or tennis ball and allowing for the pec minor to be released. But the important position over here is for your shoulder. Avoid that your shoulder is rolled forward with doing this. Roll it back as far back as much as you can without any pain or discomfort. This is how it goes. So placing it through there, ball against the back minor, you would find those pressure points, okay? And certainly guarantee that one. As long as you move around, finding those tight spots. Very important. Once you found a spot, you may relax your arm, holding it again there between one to three minutes. Slowly ease it off. You can move to another spot. Okay, so give that one a shot. Getting your lacrosse ball or a massage ball, tennis ball, whatever sort of ball you have at home as long as it's uh, sturdy enough and it's hard enough to be able to dig into those tight muscles. So, get in that ball, place it through here. All you need is a doorway, so using this part of the wall, then pushing that upper trap against that ball, allowing for the side to relax. So, here's how it is. I'm gonna push it through there. Then just finding those pressure points. Okay, so, so for an angle that you can see better, I'm gonna do it from here. So if I wanna release this part, I'm gonna dig the part of my upper traps against the wall, then allow the, those pressure points to be handling that sort of pressure. It's pretty good. And then allowing for this other arm to stay relaxed. Okay, so as much as relaxed as you can, okay? How it looks from a, from a far angle. This is how it looks from a lower angle. So bring one foot forward, one foot back, hinging from your hips. And you're digging it onto that spot. Okay. So holding that position for at least uh, one to three minutes, depending on how tight that is. In case that doesn't work, let's go for. In case it doesn't work, let's go for option number two. Option number two is you would be needing to lie, in, lie down on the floor with your massage ball. Just lying on your back, find again that upper trap, dig in that ball underneath the upper trap, then this hand pushes that skin down against the ball. And you may bring more or put more pressure in by adjusting your body position as to allow for that upper trap feel its pressure point and with the help of the ball, releasing it slowly. Big breath in, down to your tummy, and slowly breathing out. And again, holding this position between one to three minutes, depending on how tight that is. is uh, you would need a broomstick uh, for that one. So you can see here the broomstick over here. Place a broomstick to the corner of a wall, where the wall meets the floor, or into a mat. It's like what I'll be doing now. So allowing that broomstick to just be flattened out on the floor. You can see here, I'll try to find that uh, pressure point using the end of the broomstick with my whole body flat to the floor. So again, you may readjust your position on how much pressure you would want to be in. Again, you would want that something that you can tolerate for at least three minutes. So it shouldn't be that hard. Once you found a spot, you may use this one to assist it to keep the stick being placed on that position or you may let go if it's well intact. 
Big breath in, again, slowly breathing out and allowing for this shoulder to relax. Okay, so just another option you can try.